this is a review on the Marvel Masterworks Volume 1 of The Rawhide Kid. This is the cover. It's a soft cover. And it was $24.99 cover price. You could pro probably buy cheaper online. It contains Rawhide Kid number 17 to 25. Now you might ask, why is Volume 1 number 17? Well, the series was not published for many years, but when they finally returned, the series got rebooted, so to say, in terms of quality. But it started with issue 17. And the funny thing is, guess what? Stan Lee does the writing, Jack Kirby does the art. That's right, the 1960s famous comic book creators of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were on the Rawhide Kid on this volume. And this was right before... The superheroes returned. Westerns were very popular. Uh, Western comic books. And so this is right before the superhero age returned. That the legendary comic book team of Lee and Kirby. Uh, were making Rawhide Kid cowboy stories. And it is quite fun. I mean. The quality of this masterwork. The production quality. The uh, restored colors. The paper. It's all good. And it's a fun read. I've had a, f I've tried a few of the westerns in terms of the Marvel books. But I think Rawhide Kid is the best. At least for me in terms of following up. Uh, in terms of quality. If you like Jack Kirby, if you like his art, his creativity. That was definitely a factor in buying this book. And Stan Lee writing was definitely much better than some of the other people that Marvel had back then. When they had a few different writers. And this volume. The stories are short though, only a few pages. And there's more than one story in each issue. So it's like two or three stories, maybe between five to ten pages. A story. And this is a, a western. And even if you don't like westerns, and I know it's not popular nowadays, but this, I think, has a special place uh, for Marvel Comics fans. If you like superheroes, this really does have a superhero quality feel to it. If you read Volume 1, which is this issue, it does have a superhero quality uh, flavor to it, I would say. And I definitely would recommend getting this volume if you're curious. And again, it's not too much money if there, you could find it online cheaper than cover price. And I think it's Jack Kirby on just about all the art. There are a few backup stories, a few pages with different art. But the majority of this volume is Jack Kirby on the art. And even if you don't collect westerns, if you like superheroes, if you like this creative team, I definitely would recommend giving it a chance. It was a more fun volume than I thought it would be. It was enjoyable read. So that's the Rawhide Kid Marvel Masterworks Volume 1. And I would recommend it. And uh, that's the book review. And thanks for watching. And talk to you later.